It's time to do 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 What's good, everybody? New angle, new me. You know what time it is? It's time for a. Oh, this is so heavy. Oh my god, it's time for a book haul. This is. I'm I'm hauling books. Oh god. Oh, I just hit buttons on my computer. Oh no, let me fix this. Okay, we good. Are we better. Is it better? All right. What's good? What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Entro. We're back for a book haul, a end of year 2023 book haul. And I bought a shit ton of books and other and other pieces of media and I wanted to share with you guys all like before the year like got away from us, okay? Um if you're new here, hello, hi. We talk about books and other media here and I'm just trying to get this thing ramped up, get used to creating content, get used to talking about books in an energetic fashion and all the things that come with it recently while like if you if you've been on the channel just for the past couple of months you've seen me doing like the percy jackson reactions that i've been uploading as long as like long form videos and things like that i did drop off the past two weeks um pal world sucked me in and i was just reading pal world and then reading manhwas the entire time um i was literally doing nothing else for the past two weeks but we're trying to get back into the zone and the first thing i got to do is tell you guys about how i use my money basically it so book haul number how much whichever number this is but i hauled a lot of books last winter and i want to talk about them and i'll save the ebooks for last i want to talk to you guys about the physical books i got okay so there's a little story behind this one before i tell you guys it i got these specific copies of magi which is a manga my favorite manga of all time and then volume one of jujutsu kaisen which i haven't started reading yet i've just been watching the animes but I know at some point I think I'm going to want to just start reading it. So the story with this is there was a um, books a million sale that was going on, which was like buy two, get one manga free or whatever. And I was like, hmm, it was only on select manga. It wasn't on all of them. But I saw they had a couple of manga volumes on that list. And I, I, I've been wanting to start. I've been wanting to collect magi and build my magi collection for years now. But I want to come across them like naturally and such. And so I added every single Magi book on Books a Million to my cart. It ended up being $240. As you can see here, I only have four books. I think a fifth one may be on the way, or this is all I got. Um, so, so, so here's the story, right? I was messaging my fiance, and I was like, hey, listen. Can I buy $240 worth of books? And then she sent me a picture of her taking her ring off. I'm kidding. Um, she was like, mm, maybe not $240. You could buy a few. And I was like, okay, well, if I buy just a few, it'll be like $100. And then I'll, and, I'll, and I'll use the sales and I'll get money off and I'll pay like 80 So I bought like five or six books for like 80 bucks instead of all of it. Because they didn't have the entire Monkey collection. They had like 20 of the 36 volumes. Um, in like not in like chronological order. They just had like certain volumes. But my Maki collection is filling out, and I'm very happy about it. And then I got to do some Tyson because I know I'd want to start it, or I might want to let my I want I might I might let my buddy borrow this one. But it's really funny that so I've had Maki Volume One for so long, and then I now have two, five, thirty six, and thirty seven. So like not nothing that anybody can actually take from me and start, you know. Um, so I got those. I also way 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 earlier in 2023 picked up. Um, a pre-order of the Christopher Paolini illustrated version of Aragon. Now, this is an absolute beauty, okay? This is an absolute magnificent beauty. Um, I shared this on Instagram one time, and then Christopher pa Paolini put it on his story, and then that reel got like over a thousand views, which is like a lot for me. So I appreciated that. But look at all these illustrations of the book. Like, it is an amazing, amazing item that I'm so happy to have on my bookshelf, and I love it. Um, Siddharth Chaturvedi, who um, is the person who illustrated this, went completely insane on it. He went absolutely like ballistic on it. Like it was dope. I, I, I love it so much. And then, and then I was recently gifted these, um, the whole set of the Inheritance Games. Now, there's one book missing because I'm actually reading it right now. But I was gifted the Inheritance Games by one of my very close, very good friends who keeps me on this book 
content journey whenever I'm feeling low. Um, and she's already read through these, and she said, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big rereader, and they don't match the other books on my shelf, so I, can, I would just like to give them to you. And I was like, oh, my God. My first bookish gift. Ah, uh, I appreciate you so much. Um, so I've been wanting to read these for a while, but getting them on ebook is a, an absolute pain to rent them on ebook because it's always like, you know, checked out and stuff. So I, uh, fun fact, at the time of recording this video, uh, it is whatever day it is. Yesterday, I started reading the Inheritance Games. Right? I told you that I'm on book two, or. <laughs> The, the book that's missing here is book two, not book one, because I actually finished it the exact same day I read it. So I was at the gym and I started reading the book. I walked for 30 minutes. So I was like walking on a 3.5 speed, which is a decently good, like faster pace in terms of walking speed. And I was just going 14 chapters in 30 minutes later, I finished my workout, came back home, kept reading. Read for like how many hours into the night? And I was like, I was at like the, I was at chapter 49. And I was like, I'm just going to put on pause. I'm going to play some Power World. I'm going to chill at my desk and everything. And then I came back. Or I, I, it was like 1130 at night. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go to my bed. So I went to my bed intending to sleep. But then I picked up the book again and kept reading it. Because it is a very bingeable book. I'm not going to go too, too, too much into details about the book itself. But just know that I read it in less than half a day. Is I finished the Inheritance Games. So I'm currently on book two, the Hawthorne, the Hawthorne Legacy. Now, I don't think I'll be finishing it all today because I have a lot of things to do today. So I'll probably finish it tomorrow morning. But I did start book two, the Hawthorne Legacy this morning. And I'm only about like 14, 13, 14 chapters in or so. But the books are very easily bingeable, which is why I'm, I'm like speeding through them and things like that. Um, so those are another set of books I got. Now, the ebooks that I just picked up are actually really, really cool. So this is another thing, right? So. Um oh I forgot I forgot to show you guys another thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got bookshops and bone dust, baby. This is a prequel story, like uh, like like Viv's earlier life type of story. Um to Legends and Lattes. And so I read this at the end of I read this at the end of the year last year. It was my it was my last book that I read of 2023. Good book, loved it, but I also picked that one up. Okay, so back to the ebooks. So I was just scrolling on Instagram, right? You know how Instagram gives you targeted ads and shit. And it gave me a targeted ad for a publishing company called Wraithmarks, Wraithmarks Creative. And I was like, hmm. Let's 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 check this out. So here's who they are. Okay, so I picked up, so I was just like scrolling on Wraithmarks, right? And here's why I was so sucked into the books, right? Here, here's 100% why. First of all, the branding and everything, love it. Look at that floating dragon right there. Love it, okay? And then, so you go to the books, right? Just wait for this, guys. You go to the books. Look at what, hey, look at what they've done to the books. This is the fucking best marketing you could do for any book okay i'm gonna put it out there okay if you can find someone to animate your fucking book cover like this and this is how you show it to people bro the edgelord gamer in me was simmering i was elated it was so cool i was like oh my god i now i want to know more because it's so cool so i ended up looking into every single one of these series like every single one of these series i looked into there okay they have about 12 series on their on their publishing um, website right now of of like basically they work like um, it's like a publishing company that we're like uh, like like a, like a like a red tower book to like pick up your book and things like that. That's what these guys are. These are all the these are all the authors who write these books and some of them. It's also very interesting. Some of them like co-write the book. It's not just a solo. You know, some of them actually like work together on the book. Um, Luke Chilomenko, GD Pen, like, I, and, and I and I enjoy that a lot. Um, so I actually picked up quite a few of these books. I didn't pick up all of them, but what was happening? This is what the cool part was, right? On Amazon, when I just because I got it from an Instagram ad, which means they were running some sort of discount and shit like that, right? So I got it off of Amazon, and so and so when I bought, when I was like looking for these, when I was like looking on Amazon for these books, it was very interesting because they because they were selling them for like pennies on the dollar 
like one or two dollars or like less than a dollar or one, something where you can free. So I picked up Mark of Kings. I'm pretty sure I picked up Shadows of Ivory. I picked up the Keeper Chronicles. I picked up, I think I picked up Warformed and um, the Iron Prince. I'm not sure if I picked up Wraithblade or not. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked up Mother of Learning. And let me see what else I picked up. Let me just tell you guys everything that I picked up by going to my Amazon account on my phone. So I don't dox myself. You know what I mean? Give me one sec, y'all. Where are my digital orders? Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, so I picked up. I picked up Keeper Chronicles, Iron Prince, Shadows of Ivory, A Blood of Kings, Mark of Kings. Picked up Savage Dominion. Yeah, I didn't actually. I'd actually, I actually. I think I didn't pick up the other ones because either I wasn't super interested in their story synopsis premise, or they were just like too expensive to pick up like at that time. But I picked up all these for like once again. Come back to my Amazon. I picked them up for like pennies. Like they sold the Keeper Chronicles and I paid zero dollars for it. So it, it was an amazing sale. I was actually super excited to read these. I actually already started a Mark of Kings earlier in January, but I got to like 54% of it and then I stopped. Um, and I have a reason for why I stopped, but I will cover that in the next video coming out, which is like my winter ish, January ish. Uh, reading recap because I read a, I actually read a ton, um, not books, books. I read a, I actually read like ten manhwa, um, in the entire month of January. But I'll get to that in that other video. I just want to tell you guys what I picked up. But I'm actually very interested in these stories, and I think this is an amazing way to market your books if it's in these like animated, um, like book cover things on the website. I love the marketing on this, like. I'm I'm already almost trying to like figure out how I can buy this one again. It's very interesting. So um that's just what I wanted to show you guys. Uh that was that was that was a book haul. Thank you guys for watching. I don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. I don't I don't want to make these things too long. I appreciate you watching. If you're new here, like, subscribe, drop a comment, maybe let me know what some what are some books that you've bought or some books that you're looking forward to now. Oh, Another ebook I just got was I actually got a few. Whoa, I'm actually whoa, 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 whoa. I'm dropping the ball aggressively because I'm not talking to you guys about this. Um, sorry, I just I have to. I was looking for these books that I got and it's not. Oh, there we go. So I also I also picked up book three in ebook form, book three of the Atlas series, Atlas complex but i haven't read it yet because i was absorbed with power world and reading manhwa even though i was supposed to read it in january as soon as it came out um because i do want to do a full like one day read of it like a 24 hour read of it like i've done for the other two it's just life is very crazy right now and i can't get to it i also the, the one book that i actually finished in um in january was an arc of a book that's already out now it's called a vengeful realm um, this one is called, fuck, my brain, my, I can't remember these things. What is it called? What, what, what is, what is, what is, what is book two called? Let me see. I'm so sorry. Is it balance of scales? No, that was book one. Book one was scales of balance. Book two was breaker of chains. Yes. The one book that I finished in January, it was an arc because the author reached out and said, Hey, do you want me to let you know, let you know where the arc is out? I said, yes. He gave it to me. I finished it that week. Um, I think it was a great book. Please go um, support Tim Fasciola and, you know, read read Eventual Realm Book 1, Scales of Balance, Eventual Realm Book 2, um, Breaker of Chains. He just released the, the book cover for Book 3. Bro, let me show y'all this real quick. Let me show y'all how nice Book 3 looks. Hold up. I'll put it on the screen, but I'm gonna show you on my phone as well because it looks immaculate. He doesn't really do much on his Instagram, does he? One second, let me go. Let me, let me let me go to his TikTok. Let me go to his TikTok. Let me find these things. Where is he? Damn. Okay, so book three looks like this. 
Use the glare. Bro, look at that. Oh my god. Book three. What's it called again? The Age of the End. Bro, I'm so excited for it. Um, once book three comes out, I'm gonna buy I'm telling you guys right now I'm buying all three books to have a physical copy. It was one of my sleeper hits of 2023. Really good book two. Um, I did like book one a little bit more, but I think book two is still really, really good. I'm just looking forward to book three coming out and hopefully giving me the same like <clears throat> of it. But I'll cover that and once again in the other um in the other video about my January reads. That being said, <laughs> now let me do an actual proper outro. Um, catch you guys later. I appreciate you. Love you for being here. If you're new, subscribe, like, comment. If you're old, here's like, subscribe. Just keep subs keep 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 your subscription up, and then comment. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye. -bye.